What's up everybody, my name is Matthew and it's been a while since I've made a video and I've been working on a few things in my game room or man cave or whatever you wanna call it. And I've been really happy with how it's turned out so I wanted to show you around. So of course the main attraction is this huge gaming desk I have in here. And of course it has four monitors, I really like the way this looks. And this setup actually contains three separate PCs and I'll explain why. So before I built this desk, my goal was to be able to design a setup where two people could play PC games side by side and be able to record all of it for YouTube videos. So basically this is one gaming setup right here, which is running off of my newest PC, which is really nice. It's got a 3080 in it. And then on the other side, I have a second gaming computer. And then the third computer just records everything and I run it off of this monitor. And that way these gaming PCs won't get bogged down by having to play a game and record video. So since they are only running a game, I don't have to worry about any performance loss when recording. So to actually record everything on this third PC, I have an Elgato Camlink Pro. And this capture card actually has four separate HDMI inputs, so I'm using two of them. And then for audio, you know if you're just recording a single gameplay, there's plenty of things on the market to get you going. But for a two player setup like this, I had to come up with my own solution. So I ended up getting a mixer to take care of all of that. And this specific one is a Soundcraft UI24R. And so now I have this set up all perfectly to where if you're sitting right here, you're hearing your gameplay, you're not having to hear theirs, but you are hearing both mics. So you can still talk to each other and hear each other clearly. And you can also use this nice Rode Pod mic to talk to people in game. You won't have to use the cheesy little microphone that's on your headset. So basically everything goes into the mixer, it records all the audio, and then you plug your headsets into this headphone amp. And speaking of headsets, I got the Logitech G Pro X headsets and I just got these hooks under the desk to store them. So those are pretty cool. And I'm slowly starting to get more and more Logitech stuff. They were never really a brand that stood out to me, but I really like how their stuff performs. So I got a wireless super light for each one of the gaming stations. Then I got a wireless 305 for the recording PC. And then I just spent my whole weekend doing the cable management down here. There are a billion wires in this setup, but I just got this new cable management tray. Then of course that fiber there. When I was building the room, if I knew where my desk was, obviously I would have put it over a little bit, but oh well, it is what it is. But believe me, there are a ton of wires back here. And then next to the desk, I have these shelves and basically I just wanted them to have the PCs on so they'd be on display. And then of course it gives me room to display other things like my cool clap trap up there. And I recently just put these LEDs in here and they really add a lot. So if I turn off my light, this is how it looks with no lights on the shelves. And you know, the main area is nice and lit up, but it's just so dark out here. So if I turn these on, it just fills the room with this really nice glow and it's just the perfect mood lighting for gaming. And you may have noticed that I have a lot of boxes on my shelves and most of these are empty, like there's my 3080 box. And it's just that I hate how empty shelves look. I'd like to fill these up with actual stuff eventually, but for now, this is what I got. So then moving on from the desk, I have this shelf in the corner over here and I don't really love it, but I had it, so it's there. And so I put my games over here and I don't know how much I've shown in previous videos, but my little game collection is about doubled in size recently. It only used to take up half of this shelf. And I've just been buying some older games that I used to have when I was a kid or buying games that I was always interested in and never got, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And over here are some of my guitars and it's been awesome because I could come in here and crank it up whenever I want. Because basically this was a three car garage and we turned it into a two car garage with a room on the side. And so people can be sleeping inside and I could come out here and turn it up. And then it's also nice because people inside can be as loud as they want and it won't interfere with me making videos out here. So this is my trusty go-to Iron Label RG. This is my newest seven string. This is my bass. And this white one is my wife's bass. She's been learning and we've been playing together in here and it's been a lot of fun. And then over here's my storage area. You know, this room didn't have a closet or anything, so I just needed somewhere to put all my stuff. And again, I already had these shelves, so they work for now. I don't know if in the future, maybe if I'd wanna cover this whole back wall in shelves or something like that, or maybe just leave this how it is, uh, still to be decided. And then I got this eyesore over here in the corner. And then on this wall, I just recently got this little side table. That way I have somewhere to throw my wallet, charge my phone. And I also have the light remote on there because I don't have any lights installed in this room, just that video light. And so I used to have to stumble through the dark to try to turn it on. So I got the remote there now. Now this table is never supposed to be in this room, 
but I keep finding uses for it. This table is actually a part of my old desk that I snapped in half a couple years ago. And yeah, to this day, I'm still using the good half of it. <laughs> now, this table is actually supposed to be in here. So this is a risable desk and I just wanted a second desk so I could work on things, test things out, do reviews without having to clear out space on my main gaming desk. And it is also really nice to slide into the middle of the room. That way I could do videos and have my gaming set up as the background. I can do B-roll shots and all that. That's what all this blue tape is for so I can remember where everything goes. And then this last wall is still blank. I haven't done anything there because I'm not sure if I wanna put a TV there or if I wanna put a TV over the gaming setup. Or maybe if I wanna make like a channel logo and have a big logo on the wall there. I'm just undecided. And these are just more acoustic panels that I got from mounting on the ceiling and I just haven't done it yet because I know it's gonna be a pain. But the last time I did a video standing over there with the room mic, it was just a little too echoey for my taste. So yeah, I gotta get those up there eventually. So yeah, this is my game room. You know, it's always changing, always a work in progress, but I just wanna make a chill video showing you all around. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.